What's up, Sussex? This is Jose. We are back. Yo soy Sussex. I am Sussex. I'm here with our guest today, Dr. David Tan. Doc, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you, Jose. How are you? Awesome. And I wanted you to say, what's your title? What's your title? You are here as who? Well, I am a Sussex Countyan, but my job is I am the president and CEO of BB Healthcare. Awesome. Thank you for being here. We're going to jump right in. Dr. Tam, why Sussex? Well, Sussex is an amazing place, but if you're asking me how I ended up from Los Angeles, California to Sussex County, Delaware, it's because I have worked throughout my career with large health systems. I was in the Navy for a long time, and then I worked most recently at a place called Providence St. Joseph's Health, which is a large health system with like 57 hospitals. Every time I wanted to do something, I had to go talk to several different regional executives and then the you know, CEO of the entire system to get anything done. And so I asked my wife if I could go find a place where I could be the CEO of a local, nonprofit, independent community health system. Lewis and BB Healthcare was looking for, uh, for someone, and I took the job. Awesome. What are one or two things since you've been here that you really enjoy about Sussex County? Well, I think there are so many things about Sussex County that I love. And by the way, it's not my first time on the East Coast because when I was in the Navy, I was in uh, D.C., I was in Richmond, Virginia. You know, I spent time in Maryland. Uh, and my wife is actually from Pennsylvania, which is one of the other reasons why coming here was something that was something that she could get behind to be, you know, here on the East Coast. A uh, couple things. Number one, I actually am one of those Californians that's so excited about the change in seasons. This is a great place to enjoy all the seasons, you know. Uh, I also love, especially here where I live, uh, over there uh, near uh, in Lewis, uh -huh. to be able to go on the trails, to be able to uh, uh, walk. Uh, there's a big difference between walking in the summer, walking in the spring, walking in the fall. Uh, it's a great way to get the exercise and, you know, be with nature. Um, and then the last thing I love about Sussex, although oh, plenty, um, is really the fact that it's such a diverse community. People don't think of Sussex County as being diverse, and yet there is so much of a richness in the diversity of people, everything from the ethnicity, from the socioeconomic status, from people living on the coast to people living in Dagsboro or Milton, and I just love being able to work in that kind of environment. That's awesome. What kind of impact do you see telemedicine having on healthcare? Well, you know, telemedicine has always been something that's been around. I remember being a brand new pediatric neurologist in San Diego, and we were doing telemedicine because I had to take care of kids who were in LA, who were in the Navy at 29 Palms, which is near Palm Springs, right, uh, on islands in Hawaii. And so that was a lot of telemedicine that we did. What, what, what has happened because of COVID though, telemedicine became such a big thing where now we are able to zoom into people's homes and talk to them. But it's not just about that clinical medicine or just being in a clinic and talking to patients. We're now at a point where at BB Healthcare, we do things like hospital at home. We actually will admit you if you come into our emergency room and admit you back to your own house and make sure that you are a patient ta being taken care of in your own bedroom and our nurses and our doctors zoom in, monitor you using telemedicine technology, your EKG and everything are connected, and so we have a command center at BB Healthcare, BB Medical Center, that will monitor you and get you well, so you don't even have to be in the hospital. That's another form of telemedicine. And one of the things that I've noticed, um, even during the pandemic, um, I saw you really involved in the community. How important was that to you? Oh, it's very important. You know. Healthcare is community focused. How communities de deal with healthcare issues is different from place to place to place. Here, for example, in Sussex County, where there are so many people with different languages, it was so important for us to work with the Spanish radio stations, but not just that, but working with the churches, right? Because how people deal with their healthcare issues is related to their culture. How Asian people, how uh, black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Haitian Americans, poor people, uh, people with more means, all have a different cultural way of dealing with healthcare issues. 
not just diet, you know, not just whether or not they're concerned about uh, masks. Um, and I think it was so important for BB Healthcare to go out and talk to different places and make sure that we partner with community uh, resources like churches and schools to get the message across. Because at the end of the day, there really wasn't a lot of technology like surgery or robots to treat COVID. It was all about knowledge and trust. Understood. And one of the questions I had to bring my team in on, on this particular question because we wanted to we wanted to dive a little deeper. How does BB Healthcare system collaborate with other health organizations to enhance the health of Sussex County residents? Well, I think there are so many ways we at BB Healthcare, which is headquartered in Sussex County, and, you know, we've been here since 1916, uh, taking care of the people of Sussex County, and so we know the county best. In your business, you know your neighborhoods, you know your schools, you know the needs, and you can help your clients really get integrated into a, into a place, right, and enjoy living in the community. That's right. For us, it's so important to work with community uh, partners. And so, for example, we work with Lored uh, over in Georgetown to take care of patients who uh, uh, speak Spanish, yes. uh, work on their OB, you know, OB and uh, uh, labor and delivery issues, because how a Hispanic female and family do pregnancy is different than an Asian right. uh, family and how they manage the pregnancy and delivery of their babies. And that's just an important thing for all of us to consider. So we work with Lored, uh, we work with the VA a lot. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but most recently we have applied with the state to create a new freestanding emergency department and walk-in center in, uh, in Millsboro. And That's if you right. think about the growing community, you That's know right. better than anybody That's how right. many families are coming in. That's right. That's so cool because now if everything gets approved, they'll be able to just go to Millsboro. Yeah. That will really enhance the community there. And um, how, can a how can the business community collaborate and or partner with BB Health? I think that um, businesses here in Sussex County already do a great job of collaborating with BB Healthcare. During the pandemic especially, we worked with the Delaware Restaurant Association and uh, hospitality uh, businesses to make sure that we took care of people. But many have spouses who work in hospitality, right? And during the pandemic, uh, many of these people got laid off because hotels were closed, restaurants were closed. Um, BB elected as a community health system to not lay a single person off during the pandemic. And the reason why we did that is because in order to be essential to the community, we needed to make sure that everybody got supported, whether they worked at BB or not. Um, but working with the businesses to make sure that uh, their health care is taken care of, that they wore their masks or give them the opportunity to get vaccinated, help them stay safe so that when things got lifted and people were moving around again, they could make sure that they had staff and that the people who would come to those restaurants or those hotels or other areas felt comfortable that things were safe. And just like I mentioned to you right before we got started, um, during the pandemic, I must say the billboards played a big part in making individuals feel at part of the community. Yeah, I think that was really important for us to do those billboards. You know, there are a couple other things we did. We did public service announcements with Lewis and Rehoboth, where we actually, you know, I put on my white coat, even though I only play a doctor on TV now, okay, Jose? <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, we wanted people who are potentially coming from Philadelphia or Baltimore to know that our businesses practice safe, uh, uh, you know, healthcare uh, business practices. And so as a result, people could feel comfortable knowing that they could come down from Baltimore or Philadelphia or other places and know that the businesses here were safe. And so doing that, public service announcements, uh, going on doing uh, public town halls uh, where people could hear what's going on, hear what they need to do. You know, once again, it was about information and knowing, especially during a time of sort of polarized information, right? Yes. You know, that science was important. And so if people could trust BB Healthcare to provide scientific knowledge, it gave them an opportunity to feel like they were safe. Understood. Now talk to me about the new facilities that I'm seeing. Oh my goodness. Every, <laughs> everywhere I turn, there's more stuff going on. Uh -huh. um, you know, people ask me, so Dr. Tam, do you really work? Because I'm always at a, an event, uh, Rip, cutting a ribbon or something like that. So 
Uh, as you know, we have the new specialty surgical hospital, which opened in the spring of last year during the pandemic. We built it on time and on budget. And so it's now uh, on Route 24. It is uh, on the Rehoboth campus. The specialty surgical hospital is seeing more patients than we even projected at this point. And so we're really thinking about how to expand that even further. Uh, we built it with actually the fourth floor shelled, empty, so that we would be able to expand when necessary. We just didn't think it was going to be quite so soon, but we're moving forward with that. We're also looking at um, doing more clinics in uh, Lewis, more clinics in Rehoboth. We actually have a new clinic opening up in uh, Milford. If you go down Route 1 and you see the grottos and you see the ROFO and the Microtel, there is a brick building and it's a medical office building. Pretty soon you'll see a BB sign. So the first thing you see when you're coming into Sussex County is a BB healthcare sign with our second floor offices for primary care. Uh, there's a new office structure being built in Milton. Uh, along the Milton Ellendale Highway and Gravel Hill Road, yeah, so 16 same. and 30, mm -hmm. and that's going to be building up soon. Uh, and then, like I said, we continue to grow in other areas, and the big one right now is getting the state to approve this hybrid freestanding ED and the pediatric emergency room on 50 acres in Millsboro at the corner of the 16, uh, I'm sorry, the, tw the 20 and 113. Understood. And one final question, Dr. Tam, why do you smile? Oh, um, I smile because, well, first I love to smile. I'm usually a happy guy. Um, I smile because I live in a great place, Sussex County, that has so much opportunity. It's why I came here, why I brought my family from California, besides just, of course, the seasons, uh -huh. to here, because there's tremendous opportunity here in Sussex County. We are the fastest growing county east of the Mississippi. We have a lot of opportunity with development. And guess what? When all these people are coming here from different parts of the country, they need health care. And so having a local, nonprofit, independent community health system, there's challenges, of course, being yes. independent but it gives us the opportunity to be agile and adapt to the community and serve the community, which is why I came here in the first place. Awesome, and that resonates with me because one of the things that we practice is believing that there's opportunity everywhere you look. Thank yeah. you for the opportunity. Well, thank you. We're just so excited to do this. And Jose, I wanna thank you because I know that you have continued to focus on diversity and making sure that all people in the community have an opportunity to excel. That's what BB Healthcare does too. You know, we're focused on making sure that there's diversity and inclusion in how we deliver healthcare, yes. as well as of course, making sure that our staff uh, and our leadership yes, also have uh, that diversity to reflect the community yes. that we serve. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.